Hey guys, this is Mel, and I am back with a v- another Supernatural video, this time for episodes 1101, titled Out of the Darkness into the Fire, which premiered October 7th, 2015 on the CW. And I gotta say, guys, what a premiere. So many questions, yet a few things were answered about a particular entity we were all wondering about over the summer. So, I'm gonna get on it with this video, but... First and foremost, if you haven't watched the episode already, then just pause this video and go watch the episode and then come back and watch this video because I am going to be spoiling the hell out of the episode and I would hate for you to watch this and then watch the episode because if you do it that way, you're just not going to get the full impact of the episode. So just a fair warning there. So let's get started. Let's start my 10 minute clock. And the first thing we're going to talk about or I'm going to talk about is what did we learn about this episode? darkness the darkness that was unleashed at the very end of the finale we are definitely learning a lot about it one thing's for sure it takes the form of a woman odd but we only see her a few times in the flashbacks dean has with his encounter with her but there's that we also learned that these things with the black veins seem to die off after a certain amount of time how much time not quite sure yet but for some reason they do And apparently slit throats and damage to the heart seem to stop those infected by the darkness, the ones with the black veins, so at least we could stop them somehow. And apparently Castiel is still under Rowena's attack dog spell, and he also finds it it impossible that the darkness is even released, so at least Castiel knows of it, just don't know how much of it, but he definitely doesn't think of it well. Also, Crowley believes that the darkness is just a myth told by demons, yet it seems to have all of hell freaking out over the fact that the darkness is released, or the rumor that the darkness is released. It even mentions the that there is um, something happening with the cage, the one that's holding Michael and Lucifer. Something is up as if they're trying to get a, a warning out to anyone who listens, so that's not very... Um, comforting, to say the least. So, most shocking moment of the episode. It has to be the reappearance of the Marker Cain. Both on that darkness woman with the mark showing up like a tattoo at the back of her neck, just below her ear. We see it there. And we also see it on the little baby that Dean helps save. And on the baby, it's on her... On the baby girl, it's on her mm, left side of her chest, just near where her, not directly under her armpit, but where her armpit and her chest would meet. So it's just a little mark of the mark of Cain right there. And it has me wondering, does Dean also have it too? But it was very surprising to have both of them having it. It has me a little worried, but it has also has me speculating about a few things. So, top three favorite moments of the episode. First one has to be Sam and Dean finally realizing that they have to change the way they do things. Sam had this whole speech when trying to convince Dean that they can't just shoot first and ask questions later. They have to do something differently because the previous method before is what led them to release the darkness. It's what led them to bringing all this catastrophe onto the world when they were trying to do something good. So, it was great to see them finally owning up to... 10 years of habit. That was great. Um, Second thing, did anyone else get a deja vu vibe going while watching the episode? I mean, one will definitely have to be with episode 619 when um, Eve was trying to create a new monster. Eventually, she got to the creation of the Jefferson Starship. Before that, when she created a monster, they kind of live around for a bit, infect a few people, and then they die off on their own because they weren't stable enough. So that has that episode came to mind because of the fact that these things with the black veins seem to die off after a soon after a certain amount of time. So it just reminded me of that. And maybe since it's been so long the darkness isn't stable in humans or something. Another deja vu moment was with episode 209 when we first got introduced to the Croatoan virus when Sam was fi- with fighting off the infected nurse back in that episode in the whole supply closet and her trying to infect him with the Croton virus, which she did do in the episode. But in tonight's episode, we got the same thing with Sam fighting off this 
um, infected nurse, he eventually gets a drop on her and slits her throat. But due to the blood spatter, it ended up, some of it ended up going in his mouth. So still in result, but it was great to see that being played out again since it's been like, what, eight or nine years since that episode. So it's pretty great <laughs> just to have like those re- repeated moments in a sense. And third favorite moment has to be Dean's determination to stop the darkness, whatever it takes. Though it has me wondering after seeing the flashbacks between Dean and the darkness, it has me wondering if Dean's determination is because he wants to prove the darkness wrong. Because the darkness said that she won't harm Dean Dean, and Dean won't harm her because of the fact that they're bounded together. Wondering if Dean's determination to stop the darkness is because he wants to defy that statement of hers. Either way, I can't wait to see it. Love that. I love seeing that Dean is just ready to fight and he's not giving up. Like we saw a few times in the previous season when he didn't want to fight the mark anymore. Okay, top three peeve moments. I actually don't have three. The only thing that really bugged me about this episode was the fact that we didn't get a name for the infection. And it just seems weird calling it the darkness. The darkness seems like that's what the woman is going to be called for now instead of this whole infection thing. So I guess for now, I'm going to have to call it the infection or the darkness infection. But for now, it's probably just going to be infection because it seems like those fully infected take on like an animal instinct type thing, come rabid in their attacks with maybe the main goal is to just infect people, kind of like what the Croatoan virus was going to do and what we saw in episode five. Oh, four when Dean went to the future in this Croatoan apocalypse thing. So, what moment will I remember most when I look back on this episode title? It would definitely have to be the introduction to the biblical evil that we have this season in the form of the darkness. And pretty much that's it, because that's one major thing to happen. It's not something you can easily overlook. So, question time, question time. What questions do I have? Well, one will have to be if Dean has a version of the Mark of Cain or not on him as a tattoo like the darkness seemed to have. Like before when he just had it like regular, it was kind of looked like a burn mark. So he had like the Mark of Cain um, appearing in the form of raised skin like a burn mark. So I'm wondering if in that place it's just flat skin with the tattooed version of the Mark of Cain. So it'd be interesting to see if he has it. I'm surprised that, like, Dean hasn't checked yet. But I'm hoping. Because then it kind of shows that even though he did get rid of it and its effects, it's still always going to stay with him, in a sense. If that makes sense. Question two. If Sam is infected, how long will he have until the infection takes over him? Or is it possible that he could be immune because he's Lucifer's true vessel? I mean, Sam must be powerful in some way if he could take on this mighty archangel. And maybe he would be immune to the darkness because him being a vessel kind of happens after the darkness was entombed. So kind of in preparation to make sure that someone could be with, someone could withstand whatever the, the darkness came at you, if that makes sense. So, third question. Why is only the town of Superior infected with the darkness? I'm assuming it has to do because it's the closest town when the, when it, I guess the lock and the key opened the darkness up, I guess, was the first point of entry. But why did it stop there? Why only there? Because at the finale, it looked like it spread over everywhere, or at least it consumed the Sam and Dean. So, why just stop in a town perimeter? So, Predictions. Let's get on to predictions. First one will be that I think there's going to be more in regards to the relationship between Dean and the darkness, especially after what she said about them being bound and how she can't hurt him or or she won't hurt him and he won't hurt her and how he's supposed to be helping her do things. Hold on. Let me check for the quote. I wrote it down at the very end. Um, yeah, she said that we'll always help each other out. Don't know what that means. Don't know what extent that means. But I think it's definitely going to be fleshed out more later on. And 
I think it's going to be something that Dean's going to try to fight against. So there's that. Second one, with the mention of the cage that holds Michael and Lucifer, I wonder if we'll see the, the two are angels at some point this season. It'd be pretty cool if we did. I don't see why we shouldn't since they're the only, I think they're the only, they're the only archangels left in, alive because Raphael's dead and Gabriel is, we're supposed to believe he's still gone. Although Metatron still has me thinking otherwise. But it'd be pretty cool if we see them. I hope we do. At least we'll hope to get more mentions of them. Because they were definitely freaking out in the cage. As rumored by the demons. So something's up. Third prediction. Through Sam we're definitely going to see just what the darkness does to the humans it infects. I don't think it's going to be pretty at all. And there's my timer. I gotta find it. Okay, there. So close. Because I have... One last prediction, that is, I think that the baby that they saved at the end is that darkness woman. I mean, her father, Mike, did say that her name was Amara, and he was looking at the baby when he said it. But he could have been referring to the darkness lady as well because he was trying to fight the infection in him. I mean, it could be like how the darkness is Mike's new master now that he's infected. Kind of like how the, the vampires had this connection with their alpha. So it could be something like that. Either he was re he was naming the baby Amara or he was naming the darkness as Amara. But I definitely hear, I definitely know that that name sounds very familiar. So we'll have to wait and see. But what did you guys think of the episode? I mean, what a way to start off season 11. I don't even know how it could con defeat something like this. But they're going to have to do something if Sam's going to have to, if Sam, if, if Sam is even going to survive. Sorry. So that's going to be something. But um, don't forget to leave a comment down below about your own thoughts about the episodes, your own observations, or your own predictions about the season 11 of Supernatural. I love to hear about it. Just keep the conversation going to see every what everyone else is thinking, what everyone else took away from the episode itself. And before you leave, don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to my channel, and to check out my other videos on this channel as well as on my other channel which is where you can find any fan fiction related videos on there if you haven't done so already and don't forget to share this video with any of your fellow fans of supernatural i love to spread the word around also if you want to get a more fleshed out recap of the episode check out my live journal page link will be down below you basically have a rundown of what happened in the episode Plus a few gifs that come across my Tumblr page will be added in the in the post since I have not figured out how to make gifs yet. So usually it's any reblog gifs from my Tumblr will be found on LiveJournal. And also check out my Tumblr page for anything else Supernatural related. If it's episode specific or if it's the promos you want to see, if it's the web clips you want to see. Um, there's a Supernatural master tag list on my Tumblr page. Just click on that. You'll have any possible Supernatural related tag there. And just click on that for anything else. For episode 1101 specifically, I'll put the link down below as well as the master link, master tag link below. So everything's easy access for you there. And if you want, follow me on Tumblr as well. I'd love to get you guys um, more up to date with stuff like that. I definitely check for when synopsises are being posted, where promos are putting, being put up, web clips, stuff like that. So all in one place for you guys. And I'm still rambling, so I'll stop right there. But until next time, until next time, this is Mel wishing you all a fantastic day wherever you are. But until next week, bye-bye for now.